Welcome back to the Turf Mech Workbench. Today we're doing improvements on the DYSF ELF receivers. Um, one improvement you can do to your stock receiver is bring the antenna out of the body here. I just simply took this off. I turned the receiver around so that the antenna would come out the back. Uh, a little easier and just uh, drilled a little hole right back uh, by the body and brought the stock uh, receiver antenna out the body this will give you a, a little better range with your stock receiver to get a longer range you can move up to um, a different receiver uh, this is available for you uh, fly sky guys it's um, FS8BS, which is iBus. Um, simply got a servo connector on here. Red, white, and black wires. You would take the red, white, and black here. Probably remove it from your um, old receiver. And of course, red and black will be your 5 volt. The white will be going to your I bus on your Fly Sky. Um, same thing with the, you Tyrannus users. You'll be able to use your um, XM uh, for uh, about the same range as this uh, FS here. Or you can go to the XM Plus. And put a full range receiver in this with dual antennas and actually that's what I'm waiting on right now I all my XM plus I've have installed them and I'm waiting on a new one uh, so for time being I flipped my um, stock one around just to fly a little more this afternoon um, now your Tyrannus receivers uh, you pretty much just have to bind them. The configuration on the Tyrannus receiver is going to be the same as the configuration on your stock receiver. If you're using the Fly Sky, the FS 8BS, you will need to change um, configuration in your beta flight let me see if I can get this to uh, anyway what you're going to have to do your uh, the channel mapping on the stock will be T-A-E-R if you install um, the fly sky you'll have to change this channel mapping to default to AETR uh, the serial port connection will stay the same this should be the only thing you'll have to change um, in, the, in the beta flight configuration um, the, in the configuration here you will go down and uh, well no it's serial bus but instead of the you'll need to click the I bus uh, here on the receiver a serial base receiver I bus uh, unless you um, Tyrannus guys will be using the S bus and that's it for today. Thanks for stopping by.